Imagine you're a spy. Your name is John. Baines John. That's a nice copyright free name. And you're on a mission in the middle of China, and you need to send your supervisor an email. But you can't just use any old computer, right? He'll catch you. So you boot up this little USB stick, and you become invisible. Dang it. Dang it. This is Tails, a Debian-based Linux distro that lives entirely on a flash drive. You can plug this into any computer and run an entire operating system in secret. And when you unplug it, it leaves no trace once you're done. Let's go try it out. So here we are on the Tails website. We're gonna get our ISO and we'll just put it on a USB flash drive and then we'll go try it out. So Tails says it can avoid surveillance, censorship, advertising, and viruses, and just basically act like a secure computer anywhere. You just shut down your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer, plug in Tails, boot up on Tails, and then just do whatever you want. So we'll download it, it's 1.9 gigabytes. And then we're going to flash it onto my USB stick. Oh, it failed. Never had that happen before. Why don't we try again? All right, it worked that time. So now we have a USB stick. I've plugged it into my computer. We can go down to UEFI boot, grub. That's my Arch Linux system. Click in the top right corner if you want to see me install Arch, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and boot the USB stick from the UEFI menu. It failed. Oh, okay, here we are. Tails, booting from grub. We'll just go ahead and take the regular one, Tails 7.1. So this is basically just going to load the entire Linux kernel and the grub uh, GUI. I've never used GNOME desktop before. That's what Tails uses. I always use KDE Plasma, so this will be fun. Welcome to Tails. Cool. There's a shutdown button in the top left in case you need to get out quick. Persistent storage. You can encrypt some things and keep them on the USB stick with you. I don't have any right now. So let's just go ahead and start Tails. Partitioning error. We'll just ignore that. How about that? We've got two workspaces down here. Uh, we'll turn large text on for you guys so you can see better. And, um... Yeah, there is no Wi-Fi. Um, you cannot use built-in like motherboard Wi-Fi on this. You have to either plug in Ethernet, connect your phone's hotspot via a cord, or use a very specific Wi-Fi USB antenna, none of which I plan to do. Screen time. Why is there screen time on a spy PC? That's fun. All right. I quite like the GNOME desktop switcher. Let's check out the apps menu. It looks like it comes with a lot of built-in apps. On a 1.9 gigabytes, that's pretty cool. Must be some compression going on. Utilities, we got some basic stuff. System, this system under. Console, let's start it up. Amnesia at Amnesia. Very cool. That's a very cool name. Uh, let's just list USBs. Okay, so it's seeing everything I have plugged into my computer right now. Even though it's not technically running on the computer. Well, it is, but it's not running in the computer. You get what I mean. If you don't, sorry. GIMP, Bitcoin Wallet. <laughs> That'll be fun to try out. Uh, LibreOffice, Metadata Cleaner. Cleopatra, Inkscape, Audacity, Backup Persistent Storage, Booklet Imposer, Calculator. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. This is pretty cool. Let's start with trying out. Um, let's just hit About Tails. Let's just see what we've got to work with. Tails, the Amnesic Incognito Live System. Uh, start Tor Browser. Oh, yeah. So, you know Tor Browser? It's like a browser built to be super secure and apparently also access the dark web. We will not be doing that. Tails was built by the Tor project. Anyway, explore privately. It's got DuckDuckGo built in. That's an A+. Love DuckDuckGo. Got a big onionize switch. I don't really know what onionize means. I'm pretty sure it's a dark web term, so we won't be messing with that. This looks kind of like Firefox. Oh yeah, these are the Firefox settings. This is just straight Firefox with DuckDuckGo and a ton of security. All right, let's try out some apps. Additional software. We can store additional software on the persistent storage, so that's cool. Uh, can't store a lot because it's just USB stick. Let's try Audacity. Um, the audio you're listening to right now is probably edited on Audacity. Yeah, this is just normal. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try the Bitcoin wallet. I know pretty much nothing about Bitcoin. New wallet. Uh, standard wallet, sure. Create a new seed, why not? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, your wallet generation seed is Aunt, Despair, Forest, Almost, Husband, Dish, Brick, Slim, Curious, Blossom, Measure, Raw. Very cool. Please save these 12 words on paper. Nope. Oh, crap. We have to type it. Aunt. Um, what was it? Die. Disp despair. Forest. Almost. Typo, of course. Husband. I don't remember the rest. Uh, let's go back. Dish brick. Oh, it cleared it. Yeah, screw Bitcoin wallets. We don't need that. Gimp. I've heard people say Gimp is better than Photoshop. Uh, there's a pepper. Is this how GIMP works? We just click and add more peppers? Okay. 
All right, I can add a lot of peppers in this tiny square. Wow, yeah, GIMP really is better than Photoshop. There's peppers built in. Does your photo editing software have peppers built in? Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's try Inkscape. I don't really know what Inkscape is. Oh, this is like the drawing app. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to draw. I'm not an artist. Uh, new document. I can't draw for crap, so let's see what happens. Let's try to draw... Okay, we can draw a line. Let's draw Tux, the Linux penguin. We'll start batting his body. Yeah, that looks good. Um, flipper on this side. Flipper on this side. Yeah, this is looking like a penguin so far. We'll draw his head. Uh, gray. Actually, wait, no. I think we keep it on black, and then we switch it after we draw. We'll just do a nice penguin-shaped head. Nice. Switch that to a nice penguin gray. He needs eyes. Those look scary. Okay, this is not that bad. Um, what does he need? Feet. Uh, I think penguins have like two toes or something. Yeah, I will make those orange. Why are there so many oranges and greens? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. I feel like he's missing something. Oh yeah, a beak. This looks just like the tux. I'll put a photo up. Look at that. They look identical. That's very nice. So yeah, Inkscape. What a fun app. All right, let's try Cleopatra. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's for encrypting. Let's encrypt the word tux with password. Uh, enter passphrase. Tux. Cool, repeat. Tux again. All right, insecure. I don't give a crap. Oh boy, that is an inefficient encryption. That took a three letter word and made it into like a 50 character sentence. LibreOffice. I used to use a Raspberry Pi, so LibreOffice was a daily occurrence. It's, uh, it's not that bad. It's like an open source version of like Google Docs or Microsoft Word and like the slideshow one and all that. Debian Talk, sure. Uh, by Raphael Herzog. Never heard of him. Sounds like a cool guy though. Unsafe browser. Oh no. <laughs> I thought the whole point of this operating system was that it was safe. To be able to start the unsafe browser? What if we just don't? How about that? Let's just not. All right, so. The cool thing about Tails is let's say you're a spy and you're using someone's computer and suddenly you hear them coming, you gotta get out. So it would take a while to shut down Linux, right? Well here, let's open GIMP so we have something running. You can just yank out the USB stick, yank. In a few seconds, it'll just quickly end every running process and then just kill the operating system and uh, the regular computer will be none the wiser. It has no idea. It just absolutely keeps everything on this little USB stick and you can go plug it into another computer and use it again. That's why Tails is cool. I'm in the studio now. Uh, this is a smart chessboard for my next video. Anyway, I'm here to grab this Dell Dimension 5150. This is the biggest, oldest, and worst computer I own. I picked it up for like five bucks at an eBay store. Um, it's got a floppy disk drive, Pentium 4, and it was designed for Windows XP. It has like 512 megabytes of RAM. Tails requires two gigabytes of RAM to run, so this is not going to be a good time. Let's go ahead and plug that in. I can never plug in them the right way the first time. Let's see if this works. I will be shocked if this actually works like at a usable speed. We'll go ahead and start that up. Smash F12 to enter the BIOS. All right, here we are. So old. And then, oh, yep, it sees it. USB device. This computer has no hard drive. So can it boot on our computer with like no software? And of course, there's no graphics card. This is booting on Pentium 4 integrated graphics. Very cool. It took like five minutes to boot. But, um, here we are, Tails. Uh, sure, start without persistent storage, why not? Alright, sometime later. Okay, here we are, it's running really, really jankly. Gnome is not built to run with half a gigabyte of RAM. Let's show the apps. Come on. Come on, there we go. Let's see if we can open in Inkscape again. We'll draw another Tux. By the way, I went to check the fan on this thing. It's not actually that hot. Uh, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and draw a tux. We'll start by getting the pencil tool again. Uh, draw his body. Oh no, it starts a triangle. That's fine. I'm just gonna speed this up real quick. Oh no, this is not going well. The left arm is really lumpy and the right arm is, ooh. Oh, and the head's too big. That's fine, that's fine. This still looks like a penguin, like you can tell, right? Yeah, this is fine. I've gone ahead and added eyes and a beak and a feet. And uh, let's compare. Here's the one I just drew. Here's the one from earlier. And here's the real tux. Which one looks better to you? I think I like 
um, the one I just did the most. Let me know in the comments which one is better. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull the USB stick out of this one, and I'll let's see if it just instantly stops again. Alright, USB stick is pulled out. It's still on the desktop. Uh... It has been 10 minutes and it is still on the desktop and it's absolutely frozen. I moved the mouse. I think it just got completely stuck, loaded. So if you were a spy, that would not be an ideal thing to have happen. So maybe don't, if you're, you know, in the middle of China on a spy mission, maybe don't use a Dell Dimension 5150 with half a gigabyte of RAM uh, to run Tails because they might get you and you wouldn't want that. So anyway, Tails is a pretty cool operating system. I'm gonna keep this USB on hand if I ever just need to run Linux anywhere. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see me try out more weird Linux operating systems or do weird stuff to computers. And, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.